Hello peeps, welcome back to Jikoni Yangu where we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. My name is Sebi for those are new to this channel and in, in this channel we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. In today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to make your wet fry fish masala at home. Yeah, uh, make sure you, you watch the video till the end and uh, learn how you do this recipe and make sure you like and give your comments down below. Let's get into the video and begin. So here we are and I have my ingredients. I have my one full fish that is deep fried already. And for the things that we're going to use, I have my two tomatoes. I also have my tomato paste. I'm just going to use one tablespoon of my tomato paste. And here are the ingredients that we are going to need to use also. There we have our onions, coriander, and then we have our salt to taste, one teaspoon of salt, a hint of black pepper, and then we have one tablespoon of our fish masala, and then one tablespoon of our roiko. Basically, those are the things that you're going to need in order to make this fish masala at home. Yeah, very simple ingredients and you can easily get them at home. First and foremost, we are going to begin by boiling our tomatoes so that we can be able to skin them so that they can be able to be easily crushed while cooking. So that's a hack that I'm teaching you guys today. We are back and it's already boiled and you can see the skin is already coming out itself. So we are going to remove it and set them aside in a plate and then peel them. So this is just an easy way to do it. If you don't have a blender at home, you can just boil your tomatoes and then crush them. So we've set them aside in a plate and then let's begin the cooking. So here we are. We have our oil inside our sufuria. And we're going to go in by adding our onions inside our oil. The next thing we're going to do, we are going to go in with our black pepper also. We're also going to go in with our fish masala also. And then we're going to go in also with our salt. So there we are. So the next thing we're going to do, we are just going to like mix them up all together and let our onions cook until they've browned up now that our onions have browned up the next thing we're going to do, we are going to add in our tomatoes. Yeah, I'm just doing a little mixing here and there. And then so that they don't burn. And then I'm just going to add in my tomatoes. I already skinned my, my tomatoes. And then I'm just going to crush them on the plate as you will see. So here is our plate with the tomatoes. And I'm going to crush the tomatoes. I've already skinned them out. And we are going to add them before our onions burns. We are going to add in now our tomatoes. And then the next thing we are going to do, we are going to go in with our tomato paste and our reiko. There goes just a tablespoon of our tomato paste and then we are just going to go in with our one tablespoon of also the reiko inside our sufuria like so. And then we are just going to mix it up a little bit and then just cover it for everything to just cook. Some tomatoes were stubborn so at this point I, I will just have to cover it and then come back later. Now we are back and we are about to check if our tomatoes are behaving. So yeah, here we are and we are just going to do the mixing thing. And crush the ones that were stubborn to be crushed. So that we can have a good sauce 
for our fish guys at this point i really love the aroma that is coming out of this sufuria yeah guys make sure you try this recipe out so far, if you love what you're seeing make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button come on subscribe have you hit that red button because it's for free you won't be charged anything you'll only be notified whenever i post my recipe videos so make sure me hit your red button like ding subscribe and yeah let's continue so here we are guys so i've mixed it up and ensured that everything is smooth so i'm going to add in just little water in order to make my sauce thick and actually neutralize all the ingredients yeah guys so this is the last bit that we are now doing we are almost coming to the end of the video so as you can see my sauce is cooking very well i love the aroma i can tell the fish is going to be bomb and the fish was really delicious guys i kid you not so make sure you try this recipe out so the next thing we're going to do we're going to add in our deep fried fish inside our sauce since everything is just ready keep on tossing it and turning it so that it can be able to soften up so the tail was proving hard to go inside the sufuria so i had to do that guys so yeah <laughs> pardon me for that so yeah basically this is how you cook your wet fry your wet fry fish masala the next thing we're going to do we are just going to add in the coriander or the dania in order to garnish our food and to also add the extra flavor to our food do you feel me so that's just just that's just our recipe so wait for it i have to ensure that every part of the fish has been coated with the sauce so by the time we are covering it up a bit it can be able to soften up a little bit and a tip also another tip also when you deep fry your fish don't deep fry it too much in a way that it will be too hard yeah just a little bit so there we go we are going with our dania when you see our coriander just know that our recipe is up we're just going to cover it for it to simmer and get all the good ingredients let it set for some time yeah that is where the deliciousness lies yeah let it cook on low heat like so so and this is just it guys this is just it i hope you've enjoyed the video till the end make sure you've subscribed make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you comment down below and that's just it until we're ready to eat our fish the fish was delicious so i kid you not try this recipe and you will tell me bye